Hello students, today we are going to start with a new chapter of science that is food and nutrition. Now living things need food to survive. Some living things can make their own food. They are called as autotrophs. Auto, it means self. Trops, it means nutrition. It means autotroph is the one who can make their own food. Now animals cannot make their own food because they lack chlorophyll. They have to depend upon other living things such as plants or animals for their food. Hence, animals are called as heterotrophs. Hetero, it means other. Trop means nutrition. So, students, heterotroph are animals which depend on other animals for their nutrition. Now, some plants like the daughter and the funguses are heterotrophic now, daughter, it is nothing but, it is a parasitic plant, it lives on other plants and obtains the nutrition from it. Funguses, these are the plants which grow on dead decaying matter and obtain the nutrients from them. All living things students need food for growth and to repair the wear and tear of their bodies. Now, what is wear and tear? Wear and tear, it means damage. Carbohydrates, proteinaceous substances, proteinaceous substances, it means the substance which contains proteins like milk, meat, egg, they are proteinaceous substance. Next, fatty substances, fatty substances, they are the substance which contain fats like cheese, butter, ghee, etc. So students, carbohydrate, proteinaceous substances, fatty substances, and also minerals and vitamins, they are present in the items of our daily diet. Now, minerals like calcium, potassium, magnesium, etc. Vitamins like A, B, C, D, E and K. Now, these are the various items in our food such as rice, then we have bhakris, chapatis, etc. Now, these, that is rice, bhakris, chapatis, they are all starchy foods. Now, starchy food is nothing but it is a type of carbohydrate students. So, carbohydrates form a major part of this food. Now, we also have protein foods such as dals. Now, dals and dals we have different types. The first one is tur, also called as arhar. The next one is udar, that is black gram. Next we have moong that is green gram and masoor that is lentils. Now protein food it also includes pulses. In pulses students we have chana that is bengal gram. The next pulse is rajma also called as red kidney beans. The next one is matki commonly called as moth bean. The next one is chauli that is black eye bean. Now let's see the other protein foods. In that we have fish and meat. So these are all your protein rich food. That is dal, pulses, fish and meat. Now let us study the second thing. That is we get salts and vitamins from food items like cucumber, leafy vegetables and carrots. We get fats from oil, ghee and butter. And we have many more. Now students, for good nourishment, it is important that carbohydrates, proteins, fats as well as minerals and vitamins are provided in a proper proportion. So your diet should include everything that is carbohydrate, proteins, fats, minerals and vitamins. Now we get energy from carbohydrates, proteins as well as from fats. Vitamins. They are necessary for ensuring that all the life processes are carried out smoothly. And while the elements such as salt, they are necessary for bringing about the functions of enzyme students. So here we have completed your carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals which are essential in your diet students. So students, here you have just studied what are the different things present in your diet and what are the essential things that we require in a diet.